You got that right, Alicia and Keenan. Take a look over my shoulder here. The windows boarded up, the door shut and locked this morning. This is a big bummer because, as you mentioned, this is a downtown staple. And take a look, these bait stations, you'll see these out all over this area trying to address this problem. We did see substantial evidence that suggested that there were um, rodents running throughout the facility in the form of droppings. It's not what you want to hear about a restaurant, let alone an iconic downtown Coney spot, but it's exactly what's temporarily shutting down Lafayette Coney Island. It's a place customers like Donna Davis have been eating at for years. State of shock. Not surprising, but yeah, really disappointing. Less than 24 hours after a city councilman shared this video informing his constituents about rats inside Lafayette Coney Island, this notice appeared on the door from the health department after an inspection on Tuesday showed evidence of rats. The city's chief public health officer says while the restaurant shut down, it opened up again later that night, leading to the cease and desist notice on the door Wednesday. The owner's son tells Action News they haven't reopened and plan on fixing this problem right away. It's an old building, very old building. We got a small basement. Uh, there's a bunch of holes that she said we need to patch up to fix up. The owners say a vacant storefront next door and a nearby garden attract the critters to the area. They've put up traps, but larger renovations will now take place, they say. When it comes to the food and preparation of the food, they got nothing to worry about. You know, they never had anything to worry about. So the city's chief health inspector says Lafayette Coney Island is working with them, and this is the first time that they've had reports of rats potentially inside the restaurant. Of course, they are still taking this very seriously. You mentioned there's going to be a renovation team here filling up those holes to start. And moments ago, before we went on air, we actually met a couple brothers from Windsor who had just dropped someone off at the airport. They were stopping here, as they always do when they're in Detroit, to get their favorite downtown breakfast. They were pretty disappointed. You'll hear from from them coming up in the next hour here. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Uh, yeah, when you see that video, though, I mean, that video says a lot. I'm glad there's a plan to move forward uh, to uh, seal that up and, and get the business back open. Thank you so much, Jen, for that report.